well these hardwood boards are soon going to be on our walls serving as some cool floating shelves but before we do that we need to drill a bunch of hole almost all the way across these boards to drop down some dobbles over there before we hang them on the wall so i'm not going to ruin them by using a hand drill and instead we need a drill press to get this job done and obviously i'm not going to spend a lot of money to get a drill press instead we are going to build a semi-automatic drill press that can get the job done and even without the need of an extra helping hand So let's jump into the build. The structure of this drill press is made completely out of 10 mm thick MDF sheet. I'll drop down the link to the Instructables blog spot where you can easily find the dimension of all the parts. And now it's time to glue everything together. Now to move the drilling platform, we are going to use a stepper motor which will provide us the required torque and precision that you can't expect from a geared DC motor. Now we are going to use our 775 DC motor to power this drill press and we are going to mount this motor right over here. Now as I'm done gluing everything together, I've used a bunch of wood screws on almost all joints to make sure nothing breaks apart later. As the structure is ready, what we now need is a stepper motor driver that will allow us to control the speed and the direction of the drilling platform. Now the one that we are going to use is a DIY one that we have built in our previous project video. The good thing about that controller is that it uses a triple five timer IC to do the job. So don't worry, we are not going to mess around with a microcontroller. To keep everything up to the mark, we have decided to build this driver on our customized printed circuit boards. 
so we ordered the boards from pcbway.com what all you need to do is to head up to their website and after going through a bunch of options load your gerber files you are done ordering your customized boards they are offering a great variety of services and their quality is awesome so be sure to have a look at their website and i'll drop all the links in the description below so be sure to check them here we are going to use a dpdt switch which will help us to change the direction and limit the amount of movement for the drilling platform the speed of the drilling platform is controlled by using a 10k potentiometer and besides that i'll drop down the schematic for wiring up everything